In this video, we'll do the integral from 0 to 1 of ln of x plus 1 all over x squared plus 1. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Okay, we see an x squared plus 1 in the denominator. This makes us think of trig substitution. Namely, if x is tangent theta, we have tangent squared theta plus 1, which is a single term, sec secant squared theta. So we're going to let x equals tangent theta. dx will be secant squared theta. d theta. And we'll just say that x squared plus 1 is tangent squared plus 1, which is secant squared theta. Okay. So the bounds we'll not look at yet. So we'll have ln on the top of ln of tangent theta plus 1 all over secant squared theta, as we said. And then we have secant squared theta d theta. These will cancel. Very nice. Okay, let's look at when x equals 0. So when x equals 0, we have tangent theta equals 0, but the base angle is theta equals 0. When x equals 1, we have tangent theta equals 1. The base angle is pi over 4. Okay, so this will be from 0 to pi over 4. So we're going to let i be the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of ln of tangent theta plus 1 d theta. Okay, so we want the same we're going to have another i. So we want the ba the bounds to stay the same, or the ver reverse. So if, right now it's going from 0 to pi over 4. If it goes from pi over 4 to 0, we can just add a minus sign to it to change the bounds. So we're going to do a substitution. So y equals, so we're going to do the upper bound, so pi over 4. Add it with the lower bound. I know it's 0 in this case. And then minus the variable, which is theta, which is pi over 4 minus theta, obviously dy will be minus d theta. Okay, so we have that i will be the integral of pi over 4 minus pi over 4. The upper bound will be 0. The lower bound will be pi over 4 because pi over 4 minus 0 is pi over 4. Then we're going to have ln of tangent of pi over, 4, pi over 4 minus y because if we move theta to the other side, so we're going to get that theta is pi over 4 minus y. So let's look at tangent of pi over 4 minus y. Okay. We know the tangent of a minus b, this is a formula, is tangent a minus tangent b all over 1. Minus minus will be plus tangent a tangent b, where a is pi over 4. So this will be tangent, so right up here. So tangent of pi over 4 is defined to be 1. So we're going to have minus tangent of y all over 1 plus tangent of y. Okay, so we're going to have ln of this, which would be what we just have. So that would be 1 minus tangent of y all over 1 plus tangent of y. And then what else? We have plus 1. Okay, so we have plus 1, and then dy, d theta is negative dy. So we have negative dy. So okay, we'll use this negative to change the bounds back. So we're going to have the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of ln of 1 minus tangent y over 1 plus tangent y plus 1. Okay, so 1 can be written as 1 plus tangent y over 1 plus tangent y. Tangent y and tangent y will cancel, leaving us with, this will be equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 4 ln 1 plus 1 is 2 over 1 plus tangent of y, right? Because tangent y is canceled, so we have dy, okay? This can be written, at, so ln of 2 over 1 plus tangent y can be written as ln of 2 minus ln of 1 plus tangent of y, okay? But we're going to integrate ln of 2 over it's a constant over 0 to pi over 4, so that's just pi over 4 minus 0, the difference, which is just pi over 4 times ln of 2. Then we're going to have minus the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of ln of 1 plus tangent of y. Okay. Then dy, obviously. So this is equal to i. Okay. But, but the other i is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of ln of tangent theta plus 1. That's the same thing. 
it's just in terms of y in this case. So this is actually equal to i. So this is equal to the same thing. So this is i, so minus i. So that means that 2i equals pi over 4 times ln of 2 divided by 2. So i is pi over 8 times ln of 2. And this is the end of the video. Hope you liked it. And thanks, thank you for watching.